with those storms in the area. Tomorrow, uh, it's, it, it increases, and it includes a number of counties uh, to the east and southeast of our area. So we're looking at a large chunk of the basin seeing the potential for a slight risk of severe weather, uh, marginal risk as well as you even head back further west, almost into parts of Eddy County, Lee County, New Mexico, those areas as well. And then here's uh, for Tuesday, uh, just a slight risk or marginal risk for some strong storms. And we're talking hail, uh, damaging winds. Now, as far as the hour-by-hour -hour forecast takes everything out, uh, the potential for strong weather to the north tonight, maybe some of this moving down. I just don't think that's going to happen overnight tonight. I think some of those storms will really fizzle out. And then we clear out and we'll have the potential again tomorrow, mainly because the moisture will stay there. We're still looking at humidity levels fairly high today, so no fire weather threat. Winds have been strong, though, at times. Uh, we've seen 25 mile per hour gusts in around the Hobbs area, 24 in Seminole. But most areas have seen light winds and out of the south, too. But gusts to the north have been strong because of that outflow energy. Uh, that's helped to kick up the winds a bit. Peak gusts in the 30s, 36 mile per hour peak gusts in Seminole, 47 in the uh, Guadalupe Pass, 29 in Big Spring. So we've had some strong winds today. Let's talk temperatures. High temperatures today, uh, a little cooler because of cloud cover. Cloud cover only allowed us to get to 83. We were looking to even get close to 90, close to average for this time of the year. We started out at 70 degrees this morning, so it wouldn't take much to get there, but we needed sunshine and we just didn't have it. Sun didn't come out for very long. Peaked out a few times, but most of the day was cloudy. So in the 80s, still across the basin for daytime highs, some 90s way down south, and current temperatures outside have cooled a little bit. Uh, we've still had clouds in place, a few showers here and there. We're at 77, a south wind at 12, not bringing as much moisture, but humidity level still at 64, and dew point temperature is 64 degrees. That's good. That's a good number. We love to see dew points at 64. That still gives us the potential for thunderstorms, at least for tomorrow, if not tonight. 70s and 60s across the map, a little cooler to the north with the cold front, uh, cooler air, not cold front, but uh, cooler air and rain showers nearby. We're getting some uh, cooler temperatures there, but that's really about it. Now, overnight tonight, though, we're going to see temperatures drop a little bit, especially across the northern zones. Maybe we'll see a few 50s, but more 60s, low 60s, Seminole, La Mesa, Gale, uh, cooler conditions there. And then highs in the 80s tomorrow. So we're looking about like today uh, for the northern sections. Until you get to Carlsbad and Jowl, you'll see some low 90s there. Midland, Odessa, 60s mostly overnight, upper 60s. Mid 60s though around Brewster, uh, Barstow, 95 for Barstow tomorrow. We'll see 90s until you get to Odessa, Midland. And then looking at upper 80s there, 92 in Crane. Trans Pecos, 60s. Upper 60s for most locations. Low 60s around Red Bluff. But they'll make it into the 90s tomorrow. We'll see 90 degrees around uh, 91 degrees in Fort Stockton. Uh, Brownville, uh, Bakersville, we'll see uh, temperatures around 90. I can barely read my own stuff here. I'm just almost blind. 59 in Fort Davis, 54 in Marfa. Sometimes that happens. 71 in Presidio. And then temperatures in the 80s, but 90s around Presidio. Another warm day for them. And then your seven-day forecast. Yes. Rain, rain, and more rain. Looking for rain on Monday, 89. 90 degrees Tuesday. Rain, 80, 80 degrees on Wednesday. Cooler. Uh, chance for showers, 78 on Thursday. See the 80s return Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And look at the weekend next weekend. Beautiful. Beautiful weekend. No rain showers, but like at least for the next four days, chance for showers. And we'll be at work, so that's okay. And so the potential for severe weather, it's not over. It's not over tonight. Uh, we, we still have to keep an eye on things until at least 11, and maybe some of these storms will get out. But overnight tonight, we'll, we'll be here. So we just, you know. we, I mean, we do want the rain. We don't want severe, severe weather. Nope. We do want some rain. It's always nice to see that. So just got to get through the next couple days. And the next weekend looks absolutely beautiful. And I think the first weekend for kids been out of school. That's so perfect. They can, they can go to the pools. Oh, I yeah. They, oh, yeah. They open for Memorial Day weekend. And lots of, I know that there was record-breaking attendance. And it's warm enough for it, too. Yes. Okay. Great. Thanks, Horace. Sure. And coming up, an aerial look over...